Hi there, Frankie for Premium Members for the trading day of September 11, 2024, a Wednesday. I think the bulls are taking or retaking control here on this market. The indexes, the subtle indications of buying bottom tails and green candles is ongoing on the four hour chart. The weekly bottom tail is convincing at this point, And we had a very strong bullish candle here in today's or actually yesterday's and also today's to somewhat. So the question is, how are we going to and when are we going to go long? What's the ideal location to enter this market? Well, one way to think about it is just simply go along on the break of this candle on the ES, the four hour chart. I know it's in the middle, but I think we're going to hit the upper counter. And uh, or you could probably designate this area here in the middle on the daily and watch this. If we close above, remember, if we close above, then a daily candle, then the next day you can think of going long. I also want to show you the NQ on the NQ. I made up a little plan for myself here. So first of all, this is a range within the range. And within this inner range, you can just put on a 50% and you could designate similarly to the ES. If it closes above, a daily candle closes above, then the next day you can start going long. That's one way of thinking about it. And the magnified close-up view of the same situation on the four-hour chart points to this situation here where we had support, then resistance, and now we're getting back to this 1900, 100-ish level. If we close above this, then I think we can think long. Now, if you don't want to wait, probably one way or the other, we're going to hit the upper counter. So again, same situation as on the ES. If you want to go long on the break of the candle in the morning, you can do that too. However you think about this, I think we're going to at least target 20,000 on the NQ, but potentially also the 21,000, the previous high. All right, the YM, we just simply have a bull flag on the daily chart. Not too complicated. Here we go. And I think if we trigger, you could target a 1R here. All right. On the index, on the currencies, we have a clear bull flag on the Japanese yen, which is impossible not to notice or take seriously. Look at this. The weekly, daily, four-hour, all point towards the upside. So I think this is a good opportunity here for a 1R, daily or four-hour, whichever you want to think whichever way you want to think about this. And MBT, just in brackets, is also moving up. And I think this is getting back to the upper Gautner on the daily chart. Okay, and then we have precious metals, GC, bull flag on the daily, beautiful. Look at these hints, failure tests on the four hour chart and bottom tails. I know some back and forth there too, but I think now the daily is clearing up a little bit and i have indication here in subtle price movement that the si might be done with the short selling okay and then the next uh, is treasuries on treasuries we have clear long setups or trades in progress look at the zb i could also show you z and then zf same story and the weekly is triggering here so i think you can think long term or mid term long trades on treasuries and last but not least we have a wheat and zo let's look at this wheat is triggering both on the daily and the four hour chart beautiful and zo almost one r on zo four hour chart this is from yesterday perhaps not too many of us did it because we didn't really get the full scale pullback here yesterday as we mentioned but if you're in this trade then Think about it as a four hour, one hour, or at least tighten your stop. Okay, so we have enough opportunities. And also in the morning, we can expect some movements on the indexes. So let's pay attention. We'll be back in the morning. And until then, mindful trading.